making moves in a super some common way, Mali, over 50,000 rand to invest in a business. 13 entrepreneurs will get a chance to showcase their businesses. Business, business. Each entrepreneur will get an opportunity to pitch for this investment into their business. The judges will use their own discretion. We will go through to our final episode where they will battle it out for the grand prize. We are making moves. In Jalung Komsomblugo, go 2 p.m. Go to ABC One. Mzansi for sure. I understand you're a bit nervous. Too nervous, if you ask me. No, you'll be fine. Um, take it easy. Use your time wisely. The kicking, the screaming, the scratching, and most of all, the crying. Mommies and daddies know all about it the minute they take out a comb, hair clippers, or a brush. With the 50K, we want to enhance our customer experience. We've got 20 seconds, anything you want to add? I would fly through those slides in case there's anything that we oh, missed. I forgot. Lapa is South Africa. Kutuaga Yonagi, Ibi Balero Guti, and the Imali and Gango nine point seven billion. Gonya. Go twenty fourteen. Gutiwage Lapa is South Africa. Amasalu Naina Gela in Welles Abandabam Yam. I forty thousand. Ukumbu Logut Lessis Balo Lesson. Asibali Gamasaluna Seven Zella is in Lin. Namsangela Pogo making moves. So we see Patel in Togas, seven Zagonagum Kak. Otok seven Zagon Kunda, the next wheel. Jungo Bagenag, and Nagela is in Welle. So moon toes. I am Bali Mwabe, proud owner of Kitty's Corner Hair Salon. Kitty's Corner Hair Salon is a children's hair salon focusing on Amaheke needs Wabantwana, so mommy and daddy does not have to focus on those little angels we do. Our services range from haircuts, braids, cornrows, whatever hairstyle you want. You can find us on our Facebook page, Kitty's Corner Hair Salon, or on Instagram at Kitty's Corner Hair Salon. This is not riding lap of Kona Gizo Sangana Nombali. Ongum particular and company as one of two are kiddies corner hair saloon. In this funny as a good boy, Nagel Lapae Kayagi, in no legacy or Muntuza, Basna Gelaganjan. Sogasi funded a band in your business like a footy sas good Kunganig and Nagi as soon as a little business. I was a lot of corner, so funded a band in Alum Kak. You want that hairstyle? Okay. Oh, you want that hairstyle? So we're gonna do this. Such a pretty hairstyle. Oh, <laughs> God. Good job. Good job. Nyapila. Nyapila. I get bapuma by nyamala. Baham. Eh eh. So girls, you should be as you mentioned as a plan. Yeah, but. Wow, she must be busy. Namsanji, you are your own person. Uvule in the way I could kill this one. In the way I want to decide, girl, must be busy. Okay, so yeah, Kitty is called because of my personal experiences growing up. My name is Inuel. I'm a little bit patient with you. We are Kala. I get to know So for me, I can never forget that experience. So for me, this was just a push and a kick. We have to do this for the little girl and the little boy. Yeah, in Ghana, people say, "Kitty, my Kala, go in so I don't kill I know now, my Kitty, my boy in Ghana, we can't do Inuel. We save it. Yeah, bro. Not at all, Sia. I've always had a passion for Inganya. So, it's, it's a passion for kids. That's why I'm not unsub at all. Yeah. So, now, I'm going to go the house. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to
whenever umami is ready to do the hair. So our youngest child was nine months old. At the moment, we're just doing ethnic hair. And as the business grows, we want to go into a Caucasian hair. I'm a hairstylist who is Mostly, we use a lot of wool. We want them to still look very young, very innocent, child-friendly hairstyles. So I guess I'm a weave a kind of my yes, nothing like this, nothing to be. But ingani be ingani. That's the mission. What we're trying to push as well. Yes. Cute little hairstyles. Okay. Mila, I'm Kaluk Seven. The last four months back. Ni stylist ingenya ni aluga bantu ana ni abakata ni bayenza gongi okay okay kasha sime na sing joy level sing was do bantu nga uch ma be kuli ma be ti kupsu ni akono kumne nga ni zingi mi nzi loke ni fungu menza kwan okay shala gal. Si seven zo upray balana siya, siya nenga. Let me help you. Just one line, and then you're gonna tell us how it looks like. It's not so, nana. Nyaboni zindu zala ikazi shuga shugi le from an isaluna si trial. Yes. Kuko na matoi ziko na ishado zinenzi leza shuga shugi and all this couldn't have been cheap. Untu klanis. Yes, yeah. School mani malini yela and the malaya kona yakama. I cleared out the provident fund, Jami. I had savings, so na kona my savings were kona, and then oh my mom also was an investor in the business, mm -hmm. so that helped a lot. Yeah. So just to have this whole setup, I spent around about 120k. 120k. Yeah. Yes. And then when I get like how when the inning and jing is cool, so like how when when the inning and oh my. I've got my friendly and patient staff that are buying the new lelana. So. Mina, I just manage all of this. Yes. I'm an HR consultant. I do PR. I do all of that. Yes. Yeah. for here. The reason why I give up this is because of in an atmosphere where they become uneasy because of Baba Fafe's preference. Baba Tinecheli. Because at least every month. But like, can you make the corn rolls like? Is there any pattern or something, like, not too straight? Yeah, I know. Is there a way a lot? She's been growing her hair since she was six months old. Since she was six months old? Yeah. She was my inspiration to go natural as well. Yeah. Okay. Every child has a different personality line. Yeah. As you can see, Utiti, Simupei game, Uya Lala, we're going to see clean as you know? Yeah. But then, Abanye, Sisa Zonlinga, so a hairstyle that takes two hours. Yeah can take typically four hours, sometimes with me. Go on, it's a world war, man. The line is always the issue, but it's a kind of blue, and it's a pearl. It's a bond. So, you must have been like, I have a band of seven years old now. Banga ki gabo sis ba like hi. So our permanent lana ba four. Yes. And then kono zayo temporary. Magu busy la cool and spila ngati we can't handle. We have figures. I'm phone la figures only. Mhm. As well, so it's five of them. Yes. All right, okay. I guess it's just for basic, simple haircut. You know, let's pala ngi magi ngi like hi. So maskaru kuda machiskopu into is thirty five rand. Mhm. And then masum kundi style umtrima it's going to be e forty five rand. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, so you're not getting a ship in the gala. This is our ship, yeah. For about five hundred pounds. Yeah. Yes. So, Dwaz, am I working hours like that? So during the week, we will have from twelve o'clock till six. So, and then weekends is from nine till six o'clock. Okay. Okay, Dwaz. I'm going to cool you. I'm going to cool you. I'm going to cool you. I'm going to see how you guys do what you do here. Thank you very much. So thank you very much, Thea. Thank you very much, Thea. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. 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 I don't have enough start-up capital. And then I'm not having enough feet come into the salon. That's when I start defaulting on my payments, your rent. Okay. What are you going to do with your marketing?
Bali is a job builder from the West Rand. Inga ugas me mi logo tsi zewa kesi zom varashel. Lapo kona skoku sana ngem vela piake. Nogo tsas gutu acha stega njan. Egbe nu mam. Her strengths are that she's very, very um, ambitious, she's very passionate, very, she's a very hard worker, she knows what she wants. She will persist and make things happen, even where you see with Unzimu, where she will persist. Upabli, she's a, you know, a people's person, um, she's very loving. Other people are drawn to my personality, like Siazwana, and I, that, that, that's that's just me. I, I get along with people very well. Like, so, I'm first born of three girls and Lini, Upiwe no Zizi. And then, like, I'm a parent, so it's challenge. They have visions about our lives, but then my parents, they want you to make, do what makes you happy. I'm going to encourage you. I'm even though mom, where are you police, right? Where are you police? And go to Asangi, somebody, we spoon good about cool leg, was kettle and by tanda. I did my BCom in economics and econometrics. So this was part of the vision. You would see, I go into corporate South Africa, working in an asset management company in Plambe or in the banking sector. That's what I wanted to do. When she was in varsity, she took Iskatesi to Kreta, her qualifications. And that was one of my biggest challenges. So I love this course I'm doing, but I keep flunk failing these modules, you know? And it, it drains you emotionally because in life you just feel like a failure. You know, like a three-year degree took me five years to complete, but other than that, when I got that paper, it meant so much because that was one of the goals. The goals was to get that degree to go into corporate. So uh, eventually, in Bonangati, rather than going to e-corporate, Lena, I'm a banks, Asiras, let me go to e-retail industry. And from there on, it was a graduate program. Where corner are my challenges lap? Where were it? We color lap on a Ilangam Tila corner go to a winner in life isn't as in the second. And I got exited out of the program, and that was also very challenging because Ugbone, when you have a job, you want to be the person, Obapa, in resignation, let's say, not them telling you it's the end of the road. Nadula, I'm phone and I was like, I'm so bored, stay, Hudula, going to look inside the next day. Like, it was very hard for her, but I was always supportive. There were times where as she couldn't get out of bed, and then, umawami avugate evuga sisi. It's not the end of the world. I wanted to even relocate near Durban and start afresh there. But then I had always had a vision, near Kitty's Corner. I always want to start, start this. So at that point, my partner says to me, you know what, if you don't do this now, you will never, ever do it. So from that point on, that's when I used my sad situation, my miserable situation of being let go in a job to start my business. I found out that I was pregnant the day I was supposed to launch the hair salon. Uh, she had phoned me uh, over the phone and she told me about it. Obviously it was a shock, but um, we were so excited. Right. Yo, my dad. My dad didn't talk to me <laughs> when he found out. Ideally, they want us to go to Sushate before having children. And I mean, 
I had just lost my job as well and he still didn't see the fruits of the business. So more than anything, I understand our parents want the best for us. Um, but it isn't do they happen, hey? <laughs> just did you what in Vogel Logum saying accept saying accept tea, right, yeah bo saying accept tea with no wins again. Emotionally, she's very weak. Yeah, she can cry. Uh, the younger sister did not do well. The first thing I enjoy, make better and she. Bambi phone phone a mama. I panic a lot. I I, I panic. I go into panic mode, which distracts me thinking. Most of the your first reaction is panic or color, and I'm not confrontational. I wish I was that person that sits you down and confront you, but I am not. It, it's, I hate confrontation. I choose to walk away from those. It was at the lowest point in life when Mbali decided to pursue her lifelong dream of treating Kiri's hair. Kwa melenza ma sacrifices ama ningi. Kwa ti yengo februari nga unyaka ka 2016, i Kiri's kona ge yona, ya kala ge ya sebenza. Jenga manje le ntogazi isi studio kloto sana na ati ngoguti ge yena, ukwona ganja nige guba waso ma business. Futi ge, una ma pige, ama suge yena ge, azo msiza uguti, ako azo ge heha ama kasmend. Ama ni? I have just arrived at the Making Moves studios. I'm looking forward to seeing my coach. And I'm a bit nervous about meeting Pepsi, so I just hope everything goes well. So Mbali's been in business for 10 months. Her business is growing incredibly fast. However, like all new enterprises, she's got a variety of challenges. She's here today to tell me about the growth of her business, how she's settling in, what some of her challenges are, and how she plans to take it to the next level. Mbali, welcome to Making Moves. Thank you so How much, you? Pepsi. Good, take a seat. So, firstly, congratulations. You got into a clever business, I think, and uh, you're growing by 25% a month, which is phenomenal growth. Um, so, congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay, how's it going? Oh, it's, it's been up and down. Okay, your staff turnover is incredibly high. Mm. Why are people leaving? Oh, Pepsi. Mm. It's either they get poached, sometimes, but he, the money is not good enough, which makes sense. I mean, when the business started, I was paying a basic salary. So at that moment, the business is still starting and I didn't have enough startup capital. So that's when you start moving to commission. But the commission helps when there is feet coming into the business. Upatalang is cut. Because that's another issue as well. I have never, ever, ever missed payment as if means a promise yam. So for me, that's the one thing that is important. We, see, they, we build trust with them, you know. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. But in Kulbene, landlord Yako, and uh, the landlord said, um, you sometimes our patel rent Yes. Yeah. What's the challenge there? The challenge is when the business started. As every other entrepreneur, I didn't have enough startup capital. And then I'm not having enough feet come into the salon. That's when I start defaulting on my payments, your rent. My strategy was I would rather pay my employees than Nipatali rent, but they no feet or no people working for me. So that's where the problem lied. And then Kalabachaja, your DCA charge. And then every time by a phone, you get charged for that. So I, yeah, I was just exposed to that. The interest rate. On, on payment, that was what was killing me as well. Currently, people are spending about 136 rand per head. So that's your average head cost okay. across the month okay. based on 16 to 18,000 rand a month turnover. Okay. Did you know that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Slightly. Okay. When I did my numbers. Yeah. When you did your numbers, okay. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. So sense. how do we increase that? All I think right. that's, that's possibly your first challenge. I get mm -hmm. The second one is how do you grow the number of feet or the number of heads, that the number of people that are wanting to come in and try your services out? All right. Okay. You're right. I realize my problem is e marketing. Yam. My marketing is terrible. I, I don't understand Guti, what's the challenge. Um, mm -hmm. Your social media, you've got something like 138 followers on Twitter. 
Yeah, um, Twitter's not effective. But, but you're more, how many people have you on got on Instagram? Instagram is 1,900. Okay, so, so that can grow. Yeah. And it's in a potential to grow. Yes. Your website is not up. Yes. It's still under construction. So you can't it's, say to me, I'm it's on just the a internet. Yeah, it's a landing page. Yeah, it's a yeah. landing page, which is not, <laughs> exactly. not on the internet, on a landing page. <laughs> okay. okay. So okay. what are you going to do with your marketing? I'd want to advertise on the Randberg Sun that's costly, which is money that I don't have. I get to advertise on the newsletters around the schools. I tried pamphlets, I'm not seeing feet with that. If we could have, I'm a banners, um, pull up banners, uh, and then if I'm a open days in primary schools and high school, go there, meet the parents, have one-on-one -on -one interaction, you know? I feel that would bring more feet. That's the ideas I want to play around with. Okay, to, so, to, to so go to the people. Why, why aren't you implementing those ideas? It's, it's, it's the cost implications. Okay, how much will it cost you to go to a school and say, can I run a competition in Fnuk Sponsara? I want to buy 10. Um, and in exchange for the sponsorship, you'll put me in your newsletter and help me market my business. How much does that cost? It's basically nothing. Just good. Basically nothing. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. How much does it cost to do birthday parties and to offer that service? Probably like ten thousand rand, Pepsi. That's something that somebody's going to pay for, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So why does it cost you money? If you're billing me for it, it doesn't cost you any money. So why don't you do it? I, I still feel. It's, it, it has to have the look and the feel in the salon. Okay, fine. You have to start somewhere. So this whole yeah. thing, <laughs> yeah. you need to think beyond that. So you've got to focus on the big things that will make a big difference in the business. Yeah, right. Your sales will make a big difference. Your average revenue per client will make a big difference. In. Okay. And I think that in four months' time from today, your business will be in a very different place. I hope so, Pepsi. Mbali's business provides a niche service and it's got massive room to grow. But she still needs to do more in order to draw potential clients to her business. I'm sending off for a coaching session with one of our experienced business coaches to discuss her marketing strategy amongst other things. Wow, I was nervous at first, but then because I was just scared of being grilled about my business, but it was really helpful more than anything. Sometimes you just sit there and think, yo, I don't have money, I'm my problems, I'm my problems, I'm my problems. But then there actually are solutions out there. So we need to look at a strategy to drop your prices. Don't be afraid to negotiate where rental is, is, is concerned. She has discussed marketing strategies with Pepsi as among the main challenges in the business. Jenga man jenga naga utola izing nubiso ezom sisa genga zole zing kinga anazo eze marketing. Futi ezo pinda utola izing nubiso ezom sis ge picha ki aksas. I absolutely love the concept of your business, uh, especially as a mommy. What I want to understand, what are the biggest challenges that you are facing in your business right now? Right, uh, Vanessa, I feel like cash flow is a problem. Okay. As well as our marketing in the business right now. Okay. When you market your business, how are you currently marketing your business? So we're currently on Instagram, social media. So okay. we've got a, a celebrity mommy that oh. brings her little one in and then she posts and that way it draws feet for people to like the page. That's okay. how it draws feet. And then the Facebook ads that we place. And then we on Josie Kiss with a website for mommies. If you look at every um, therapist that you have, do you find that you have times when your therapists are idle, where they're not working? Because yes. right now your therapists are not working at full capacity. Yes. So they could actually increase the amount of clients that they exactly. work on a day. A day, yes. Are you so, sure? Because during the week, it was very quiet. Okay. And then when we start getting the calls from a Wednesday, Thursday. Listening to her, the weekends are fine. Her therapists are busy. 
but during the week they aren't busy so she needs to look at running promotions at that time that it's not busy i don't know why i didn't think of that but in tengi tandanga le uh we can drive feet with the salon so going forward um maybe on a wednesday because that's when we see feet on monday because that's when it's extremely quiet we can have a special city maybe 30% of Amakon rolls and then from there on we'll see if that's going to drive some feet because I know I'm a customer like any discount that they can get or if they feel that they're getting an extra offering from whatever we offer them. How would you say you are pricing yourself at the moment? How would you say compared to your competitors? How would you categorize yours? Are you on the lower end or your medium end or you on the higher end of pricing? So when I look at my competitors I am fairly in the middle end. My competitors' prices are double my prices right okay. now. And I feel that that's because I do ethnic hair mostly and they do Caucasian hair so they would be and I'm not in the Caucasian hair market already yet. Okay. So yeah. If you had to increase your price more, you might now start to lose them. So you, are you now at the price that they're comfortable to pay? Yes. Okay. That's important for us to know. So we need to look at a strategy to drop your prices. Usually, and I'm, I'm sure you know, biggest contributors, what would you say? Are rent. Rent and staff costs, yes. right? Rent and staff are always your biggest ones. Don't be afraid to negotiate where rental is 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 concerned. Always be comfortable to because it's important that your business can afford its operational All costs. Right. So what's key is when you're an entrepreneur, you can't always increase your prices to get more money. Sometimes you have to drop your operating expenses and right now her biggest one is her rental. Landlords are able to negotiate negotiate with the client when they believe that this client will eventually generate more money and long term. She mentioned that the two biggest op um, operational costs for my business is rent and staff and I'm paying them at the rate Uguti um which they usually get paid in this industry so I think the biggest one is the rent. So if we can just work around that for me is on Chablis. Now we need to get into the actual what you here for which is money in the bank, right? Yes. Can you give me some ideas of what you've thought of would work nicely for you if you were able to get that money from making moves? What would you do? Okay, so first I thought I want to better my customers experience. Ah. Oh. So right now we realize if you've got a little tablet uh literally the little ones you plait until you finish no distractions whatsoever so even when mommy comes with her own tablet they'd rather use the salon's ones ah. yeah so there's only one okay so if we could get more okay great that would yeah that's what would help with as well as whilst they're waiting so we realize they get restless because of the waiting period by the time we do the hair we having problems so we did we had crayons but all of those resources are depleted so coloring books toys legos just to keep them distracted whilst they waiting that. then we can do their hair from there on okay and then with the marketing as well so we'd look at having a website cuz mommies want to find out yes to buy our concept where we have appointments there on the website everything's just done there right now we don't have a functioning website it's just a landing page okay yeah i love those ideas it's important that your customers want to keep coming back so if you can make sure that your clients are happy when they are there and want to be there longer they want to bring their the kids more regularly because it's such a nice experience that is going to drive more sales definitely do something um along the lines of getting a nicer customer experience mm -hmm. and try and increase and, and and include within that 50,000 rands a marketing strategy for your weekday clients yes because then we can also increase revenue um with a nice new marketing strategy for during the week and we can also increase the customer experience mm -hmm. of the kitties all right so you actually getting both in that 50,000 rands i think that will be a nice one to work on for the bitch all right thanks good thank you paleta i think we just made it in the 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> i really really loved upalesa it was so insightful i mean ofina my concepts that i'm thinking why didn't i think of that myself all this time and it's just it's very easy to implement that so yo it was it was amazing 
we do want to maximize on our profits. And this is the strategy on how we plan on maximizing on our profit, um, on how we plan on maximizing on our profit. Do you think that you're using, that, that you've, you've thought about where you need to be using this money correctly? I am so nervous. The judges, the grilling, I just don't know what to expect. The grilling is so good. I don't know, I'm just so nervous. So, I don't know what to expect, that's why. Yes. I'm a pitch into Zako no Mags of a car. Let's hope it goes well. Breathe in, breathe out. Baglin di lang apagati, all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ndogas. Shon akon. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Making Moves. Thank you so much, Pepsi. You look gorgeous. Thank you so you look much. Fantastic. <laughs> I understand you're a bit nervous. Too nervous, if you ask me. No, you'll be fine. Um, take it easy. Use your time wisely, and focus on the things that matter. You spend time with Palisa, so you know her, and I'm sure she gave you lots of useful and helpful advice yesterday. This is Martine. You've got four minutes to sell us your business and that four minutes starts now. The kicking, the screaming, the scratching, and most of all, the crying. Mommies and daddies know all about it the minute they take out a comb, hair clippers, or a brush. I am Bali Mwabe, proud owner of Kitty's Corner Hair Salon. Kitty's Corner Hair Salon is a children's hair salon that specializes in the hair care needs of children. We understand the frustrations that parents go through the minute they have to do the little one's hair. Therefore, our, our facilities are child friendly. We have staff that are patient with kids and love working with them. And we use a very archless approach when we do your little one's hair. Our business has shown a 25% month to month uh, growth since its inception in February, of which we had sales turnover of 3,000 Rand and finished October at 25,000 Rand sales turnover. With that said, our business is showing potential to grow. However, we do want to maximize on our profits, and this is the strategy on how we plan on maximizing on our profit, um, on how we plan on maximizing on our profit. Firstly, with the 50K, we want to enhance our customer experience. So what we've realized is that kids, in, being in this business, kids get restless while doing their hair. So if they're restless, it gets hard for our stylists to be able to do their hair. Therefore, therefore, we need to keep them distracted whilst doing their hair. In that way, our stylists become more productive. They can do styles that take longer, which means more money. And when mommy is happy, Kid, our little kitty is also happy. Second one, second point is our marketing strategy. Currently, we are only on social media. And uh, we're currently only on social media right now. And we don't want to get a website. How a website is gonna help our business is the fact that you can book appointments, have quotations on the website. In that way, we'd be able to forecast our sales for that month or, or that particular week and then in that way a website is a hub for every all the information that we need to put onto our site so bookings appointments as well as our brochure would be there if we have to have promotions that would, would be what our website would help us with and then secondly we want to pop up. We want to penetrate the, uh, the North Riding area. So if we could have pop-up stores, in, uh, I mean pop-ups 
in um, North Riding, go to the schools, have presents on the open days, during our open days, during, um, during when school closes, sports days, in that way we can have presents and mommies can, would have their first encounter with us. So what, uh, during our estimation with the 50,000 Rand, 20,000 Rand would go to customer experience. Um, which would include getting things like a TV, keeping the kids entertained, toys whilst they're waiting, um, as well as um, uh, little iPads to keep them busy. And then the rest would go to our branding for our... <sighs> branding for our, our store. With that said... Okay, gonna... you've got 20 seconds. Anything you want to add? I would fly through those slides in case there's anything that we oh. missed. Oh All right, your 20 seconds is up. I can see that you're very nervous, but you, you actually did manage to get through quite a lot. When you say that you want to do pop-ups, what is the setup? I'm trying to picture it. What are you going to be so doing So what the there? setup is, we take our chairs, have our stylus, have the proper branding, and then when we get there, we set up and we do demonstration because we talk about archless hairstyles. So we see exactly which hairstyles are archless and how our stylists actually work with kids. And when we see, talk about getting them distracted, we show you the process, we show the mommy the process with proper branding. Okay, um, this money that you want, take me through again what you're going to spend it on and how much each of those items are going to be. That's my first question. Second question is I just want you to think if that would be the most optimal use mm -hmm. of money in your business right now. So you'd have a TV, because, uh, TV around about 10,000 Rand. Uh, that TV would also include the little cassettes, the, the videos we get, the videos we play, the Hannah Montana's all the, those kind of things, that's what it would go through. We'd have mini iPads, the kitty ones, so it gets them distracted whilst they're playing. How many? We'd start, because there's six stalls, so six stalls, and that is 700 Rand, more or less, the little iPads. And then from there on, toys in general. So we'd have coloring books, we'd have Legos, we'd have, um, we'd have uh, coloring books, Legos, puzzles, drawing material, because kids get restless. You need to always change the activity that they do. So that would, uh, that's what it would be for. And then that would be 2,000 Rand. Have a nail bar. So 6,000 Rand with all the equipment and everything that it requires. Okay, so now we're sitting at 10... 30, 36. 36, about 36,000 yes. is where we are right now. You've got 14 left. What would you do with the rest? Branding, so our pull-up banners, our... Um, our website is 5,000 Rand, five, 6,000 Rand. Pull up banners, uh, as well as, yeah, uh, what are they called? Fish shock tanks, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's. Uh, all right, so. So 25% month on month, great. What are you upselling? I don't see anything in your store that gives an upsell opportunity. Okay. The nail bar. Upsell. It's a kiddies corner. It's a kiddies yeah, corner. Yeah, but corner. if mom is there, they can only she may do as one, well do her They nails. can only do one mother at a time, Pepsi, and a nail takes two hours, right? So one mother at a time, by the time that there's six chairs, so there's six children in there. What are you doing to upsell? Okay, so if I'd want to get accessories, hair accessories, we'd have piercings, piercing the little ones there. We do things like um, selling hair, aftercare hair products. We do that, but then if we punt that more, so that would be my And that's what Pepsi was asking you. Yes. Do you think that you're using, that, that you've, you've thought about where you need to be using this money correctly. Or where you'd get the yeah. best return Turn on for it. the money. Okay? Okay. okay, our question and answer session is over. Thank you very much. We're gonna deliberate and then tell you what your fate is as far as making moves goes. All right then, thank you so much. My pitch was terrible. I was so nervous. I felt like I couldn't articulate what I well and say what I actually wanted to say. The nerves got the better of me.
All right, Kitty's Corner, what do you guys think? I really don't think she's done enough research around what um, these kiddies salons look like nowadays and what they offer um, because she could be making triple her turnover in a very short space of time because everybody wants to get their stock in to the kiddies market everybody and she doesn't have to spend any money to do that Mbal. yeah we'll see ya right no why are you right i don't like it pitch i just feel like i don't do well but yeah Mm. I could have done better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bo. She was extremely nervous, number one. Yeah, she was very nervous. Yeah. You could just tell. Yeah. You know, she really wanted to yeah. put a presentation yeah. forward. Yeah. Um, so a lot of the content that yeah. we spoke about in the back end didn't in come me. through. Okay. You know, it's a nine. You picture. The, the nerves. Being as well, I don't think too indie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When she um, started, her prices were about half of what she's charging now. Okay. She slowly increased them. Now she's at the threshold of what her market, she thinks, okay. is willing to, yeah. to, to, to pay. So it, it makes a lot of sense yeah. why she didn't yeah. go off the no, mark absolutely. too quickly. Yeah. Get your clients you know, comfortable with that. And she's now making sure that she's focusing her market on, these are my clients that are willing to pay mm -hmm. a premium. What is considered her premium? The, this idea of the nail bar, mm. you didn't like it because? No, 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 I don't mind it. I'm just saying you have six stations, right? Yeah. And you have one nail bar, so you have six mothers sitting there. That is not the, the ultimate. And the, the margin on the nails is not high. Yeah. So you're probably going to be making 80 rand for two hours. Texas <laughs> What happened there? It's the nerves. I even forgot that I had slides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. And because a lot was discussed in the coaching session but did not necessarily come through in the pitch enough, um, I think it would be sad to falter on that because I think there's something there that we can see. You were nervous. Of my slides. How did you think the Q&A went? Bad. Bad. <laughs> Do you think Kwonke logo, including your pitch, is enough to get you to the next round? No. Not at all. Hey. Not at all? Not at all. I, I get what she's saying when she's saying, I can do braids. But in order to do braids, I need the kid mm. to sit there a bit yes. longer, and iPad solves that, yes. right? So, find the technology needs a little bit of tuning up in terms of exactly what she wants to get. Yes. The idea of upselling and offering mum the nail bar solution, maybe not the best of mm. ideas, but I feel like with a little bit of advice, mm. that can be tuned in the right direction so right. that she's getting other things, yes. but the principle is the same. It's Mom's I want comfortable. To, mom comfortable, I want to upsell a little bit more. So, And then she wants to market. Yes. So she does want to go out there, do the pop-ups, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, So she, she wants to take it in the right direction and she's got the right ideas. A little bit of advice to tweak here and there, but she's been quite clear on what she wants to use the money for, and I think 70% of it is there. Is she coming back, is she not? I think she's got something to, to bring back. Okay. In all honesty, I don't think that she needs the 50,000 right now. She can leverage off relationships and consignments much in a very short space of time. So that's, that's an idea, so let's call her back in. Cool. Great. Douglas, well, there's only one way to find out. And we are the Abandaba Peto Kie, I'm a church is with. Shona Kone, you always with Tatin. Thank you, Sia. All the best as well. Okay, welcome back. How are you feeling? I'm a bit calmer now, Pepsi, thanks. Okay, you do look a bit calmer now. Um, what did you think of your pitch? Uh, I was too nervous, so I feel like I couldn't articulate very well and you couldn't hear what I was trying to say, so, yeah. Okay. Martine, your comments? Okay, Mbali, did you go to the beauty expo at Gallagher? No. Okay, you need to go to those. What are you, uh, hang on, hang on. You didn't go to a beauty expo where they showcase things for hair and hair salons 
but you're in the industry. Mm. Yes. You see what I'm saying? But can I explain? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> well, I need to explain. So I do kitties hair. So when we do kitties hair, I feel like we don't. Most of those expo will they'll show you. Okay. Have yeah. you ever been? I've, I I went last year before okay. I opened my business. There was one in Soweto. Most of the products are relaxers. It's 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 products not. Have you been friendly. to the Gallagher okay, no. Beauty and Hair Expo? Okay, no, I you should be there. All right. How there much time is do you a spend section. Doing research? Yeah, just for kids, specialising in kiddies corner type of upsell opportunities. What you must have. They have tutorials of how to run your business, what to do with the kids, how to keep them busy. So all it tells me is that you have not done research around your business. The thing that I think you need to focus on is research. Obviously, it's coming through quite a bit um, so that you can see what opportunities you have within your business, right? You've got three tasks that we think will benefit your, your business. The first one is suppliers. Right. You need to go and do research and find suppliers and then go and negotiate and go and push hard and get deals. And a lot of that stuff is available online. Two, you need to fine tune your budget in terms of where you're gonna spend the money. So I know you haven't had a lot of time to think about it. You need to spend a little bit more time thinking about it and doing a bit more research, but we were happy with 70% of where you say you want to spend your money, okay? And the last one is research. When you travel, you need to find kiddies' hair salons. All right. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So when you go to Cape, apparently you've got someone in Cape Town that you visit often. <laughs> so I'm not sure why you're not going and visiting more kiddies' hair salons. Do you understand what I mean? You need to live, eat, breathe, and sleep your business. All right. So if you don't know what other people are doing, yeah. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Okay, yes. so we're giving you another crack at this thing. So go, you've got some time to go complete your tasks. Um, you and then come back. Do. So go do your work. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but step up your game. <laughs> I was very, very surprised. I'm going home. Thank you, making moves. I'm gone. But I was so surprised. Like, it's, oh, it's so, as in there, it was just, it made so much sense. I mean, research makes you to be relevant. And I really need to go check out my competitors, so that I can stay relevant in this niche market.